Hey, what's up, mates? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Eric Ferris, your host, and today we got an unboxing, first look, and overall review of a brand new case from the people over at Intermax. You guys can see this is one giant, huge size full tower case in front of me. This is the new Fulmo GT. So now you guys can see the front of the box. So now, folks, let's take a look at the back of the box. Up at top, we can see it says the Fulmo GT. I'm going to take a step down where it's going to talk about some of the features. You guys can see it automatically supports dual PSU positions, supports HP TX motherboards. You guys can see it has the EVGA SRX motherboard in there. We've talked about that board before. We're actually doing a review on it. 10X HDD bays, internal USB 3.0 for the fastest data transfers, easy removable top cover, 23 centimeter monster fan for supreme cooling performance, toolless design for easy installation, once again, 10X PCI slots, supports quad graphics cards, top hop swap dot, which means you can put like an HDD or a hard drive right on top, just like a lot of products that are out there, pretty cool. Robust wheels with brakes for utmost mobility and stability, so that's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna roll around the floor, and with a case this size, you're gonna want it to be, because this is a huge full tower case. Integrated LED and speed control for up to three fans. So all right, now that you've seen the other front of the box and the back of the box, let me turn the thing to the side here. Um, actually, you know, some folks probably will want to see this as well, so I will just have the cameraman focus in on this real quick so you guys can see all this. I won't talk it out loud to you guys. I'm sure you guys can read this all for yourselves. So I'm going to take my trusty knife now. I'm going to take it up here at the top of the case. Make a nice quick insertion right here. Another one on the other side. Pull this up just ever so slightly in the center. Get the blade in the groove. Clickety clackety, clickety flackety. All right now, so I'll try to pull this thing out of the box. We will now throw the knife at you, the audience, and I challenge you to duck. Quack. So probably the easiest way to get it out is to turn it upside down and just pull it out. So I'm gonna do that now. Go ahead and turn it. Flip it around its front side, back side. Take the box, we'll set that off to the side. Even through shipping though, we can see there was no damage. That's good, it's all nice and foamed up and packaged there. This thing's coming to market also, folks, at about $219. That's what I'm hearing, so it's like the $200 range, $219. So let me go ahead and set this down. All right, well, so let's take a look at the bottom of the case right off the bat. All rubber feet. Now remember, they're also going to have wheels so there'll be wheels that you'll be able to put in this case to wheel it around here's one of the removable grills right here on the bottom more rubber up here so now let me just flip the thing around and put it on the bottom side and we'll continue along doing these big uncase unboxings is a little bit difficult because they're just well they're freaking huge man they weigh a ton so here we go though Let's get it here and make it all, all magical and beautiful. Some nice music here now, cameraman. All right, so now, here we at least, we got it out of the box. So we'll flip it around the front here so you guys can see the front of it. So I try to stay in camera range. Lots of bays, lots of space. Let's see if the front just pulls completely off. So you guys saw that. I mean, it really wasn't that difficult. It sounds more dangerous, does so it pops off really, really loudly. But you guys can see the front grill does come completely off. It's removable. Inside, there's filters to keep the dust out. Couple of uh, sharp edges in there, plastic edges. Kind of cut myself ever so slightly right there. So something to take note of for Intermax folks. Clean those edges up just a little bit. Not the end of the world. But here we are. Here's the inside, so you can see that. If you want more bays, they're removable. You just pop these little plates out. One at the cameraman, ninja style. All right, now let's flip it up on top. Get the cameraman to zoom in so you guys can see this stuff really nicely. E-SATA, four USB 3.0s, headphones, microphone, 
Reset, start, fan, fan control. Plus, on the inside right here is where you actually can stick in a standard hard drive or an SSD that's right here on top. So you just get one of those bad boys, slide it in there, and it's easily mountable right there. So now let's move off to the side. The side panel doesn't have a window, but it does have two giant size fans. These things are huge. If you wanted to, you could probably take this off and customize it and do whatever you want. So let me start up. Let me take these side screws off here couple of them. By the way, these were very easy to take off. I didn't have to hassle anything or do anything weird. They just were easily taken off. Pull that. Here's the side. Let's flip it around so you guys can see it. You see it? Two fans on the inside. Connections. Let me go ahead and just take that, set that off to the side. <laughs> Now we can see just the, uh, well, the huge amount of room that's on the inside of this case. I mean, this is pretty much the biggest case I think I've ever almost looked into other than like just, you know, the super huge ones. There are a few out there that are as big. I'm not saying it's the only one, but uh, you folks gotta admit, I mean, this thing's freaking huge. I mean, look at the inside of this thing. So basically you can install a Sherman tank in here, a couple of Harrier bays, and probably an aircraft carrier also inside. Oh, wait, wait, okay, wrong thing, sorry. But no, like we said before, it'll fit the SRX motherboard. We have that motherboard. We're actually working with Rosewell on a project right now with using one of their things, but this case would be a really nice one, so I think that I'm gonna integrate the ASUS motherboard inside of this one now since we got some projects going on with them. On the inside, you can see there's more fan control, more fan plugs right here. There's all kinds of open bays for your cable management. Plenty of room right here behind the CPU to be able to access it. I mean, there's 10 of these bad boys right here. The angle is kind of hard for me to pull it out. They're actually a lot easier to do than that, but the angle is kind of weird for me. So you got 10 of these all the way down. Amazing. Got some more room right in here. Here's all your other stuff right here for your USB 3.0. This is all your front you know, panel connectivity. So all this stuff's gonna be able to hook up to your motherboard so that all that front panel stuff will be able to be used, including some of the fan stuff, which is you know, actually pretty cool. Now, on the very back back here, before I show you the back, there's a fan, another connector. They said there's room for nine video cards in here. So that means obviously you're gonna be able to do four-way SLI, four-way crossfire, no problem at all. It's geared for water cooling. Let's flip it around here. You guys can see with all the different holes and everything, it's got enough things for in and out for any type of water cooling that you're gonna to wanna to be doing. Dual places for the power supply, like we spoke of before. Now let's take off the other side. Once again, very easy, toolless design. The only reason it's making a lot of noise, folks, is it weighs a lot. I mean, this is a very heavy duty case made of steel, so it's not no flimsy thing. You could actually put another fan right here if you'd like. Let me move that and just get that out of the way. Now let's move to the side and oh, um, does the word hell yeah? Give me a hell yeah, hell yeah! There's plenty of room in here for cable management. Flip this thing around. Put my whole hand back in here. You got plenty of room for cable management on this system and plenty of holes to do it in. Man, just from first glance alone, I'm gonna say this is probably gonna be an editor's choice product here at Tech of Tomorrow. I mean, this thing is just really nice. It's got plenty of room, it's giant size. Cable management's gonna be off the hook. I understand that this top thing slides off as well. So I'll just continue along dissecting the thing. So let's check out more about the case, folks. So here's the top part again. Don't wanna make sure I don't miss anything because there's so much to talk about. I could easily miss something. So this comes off. Now check this out. Also on the inside of there, let me spin this around better so you guys can get a glance into here. There's some cool options. Now check it out, you have a fan right here. So you can remove this fan if you want and you can put a radiator here and then check it out, bros. There's probably enough room right here if you modded it out, even possibly have a radiator up here on top or at least have the fans on top and the radiator inside depending on the design. So this thing's totally decked out, totally ready to go. It's ready for water cooling. It's ready for air cooling. 
It's coming to market at about $200, like I said before. I think it's a very, very nice case. From first looks and everything, I'm gonna really have to say this is an editor's choice product here at Tech of Tomorrow. Let me hear your guys' comments. We'll see you later as I get Anthony Reynolds, our tech, to build us a badass system featuring the ASUS motherboard. So peace out, we'll see you guys back here later.